Who is terrorizing the villagers in Peru? Well, the people of the area have a new theory. Let's talk about it. Get in here. This is Jack with Cosmic Road. I talk about UFOs and the paranormal. Please hit like, please subscribe, share on social media, and let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Okay, let's just get right to it. I love Timothy Alperino. He is on this case, and in fact, he is going to that area. We'll talk about uh, more about that in a minute. Uh, but for now, uh, let's discuss who is attacking these people. Are they aliens? What What is going on down there? <clears throat> you know, it doesn't really make sense to me, as I've said several times before, that they're aliens because they keep on messing up. And, you know, Timothy touches upon it in this interview. People will get away from these beings. They will wound people and then they will actually escape them. Now, there have been several deaths very potentially related to what is going on. That's not been confirmed and I haven't seen any follow-up uh, articles about that. It's very disturbing if that's the case. Um, but yeah, there, there's some violent activity from some group with high technology in Peru. And uh, we don't know who's doing it. Uh, you know, beings, uh, you know, the greys and whoever, whoever else is taking people in abduction cases, you know, they can go through walls. They can wipe your mind, They'll take you to a different dimension or whatever. You know, um, they don't mess around. Uh, so who are these people in Peru or these beings, whatever they are, uh, that are doing this? Uh, not very well. Um, or could you say maybe they're doing it well? They're, they're intentionally trying to evoke fear or terror. And they're not really about anything in particular. They don't have an agenda other than that. But the locals think maybe they do have an agenda. Uh, let's take a listen to what Timothy here says. And he's relaying, he's been talking to, I believe, a teacher and the teacher is telling him some thoughts. Uh, yeah, a teacher from that area, uh, the uh, San Antonio area of Peru where all this is happening. And the people are telling him uh, this is what they think might be going on. Because on one hand, and I should mention first that they, they categorically reject the notion that these are miners with jetpacks. They, they, they categoric, categorically reject that. We all knew that that was a ridiculous story to begin with. They said it has nothing to do with miners. Okay. However, they are wondering if it does have to do with organ harvesters who are somehow in possession of advanced technology. Um, so not, not river miners, but organ harvesters. But I said they're divided in their minds. So on the one hand, they're saying maybe it's organ harvesters, in other words, human beings uh, who, who are trying to capture these adolescents, these youths um, to traffic, uh, probably to traffic them in the sex trade first and then and then harvest their organs, which is what happens. Um, but on the other hand, they can't explain the, the, the technological capabilities of whoever this is. The, I asked them, is there any kind of, and of course, we're going to get into this in much greater detail when we get back. This is just one person I'm talking to over WhatsApp right now. But I asked him, you know, is there any sound associated with, with these entities when they are making incursions on the outskirts of the vi village? And he said, sometimes they're silent, but sometimes there is some sort of a sound associated with it. Um, and so uh, they can't explain this technology that they've never seen anywhere because he reinforced the idea that these whoever these people are these beings are they're able to move float through the jungle and, and, and descend into the air yeah so these guys whoever is doing this does have high technology the villagers have shot at ufos that these beings have gone to uh multiple non-humans have been caught on film and uh, uh video in that area however uh, the, the beings doing this, whoever they are, human or otherwise, are wearing silver suits and those beings, uh, whatever they were, uh, were not wearing silver suits. So could it be aliens drawn to this activity, uh, curious or else trying to help in some way? Who knows? But yeah, could these be evil organ harvesters or human traffickers doing this? I mean, that is some dark stuff. That is some really dark stuff. 
but it fits well with the Michael Herrera story uh, and also the Lance Corporal Weigand story, who uh, came away from uh, his encounter with the uh, control group in uh, Peru, uh, thinking that uh, they were engaged in some level with the black market, and he did not go into any details about what he meant by that. Could it be because it was too dark and too disturbing to go into because it related to some of this sort of things? Um, uh, I, I don't know, guys. This is a dark story. This is a disturbing story, but it's an important story, and we need to know what's going on down there. Uh, it, you know, it, on, on one hand, it makes sense that it could be humans doing this, but on the other, if they have access to this high technology... They don't need to resort to organ harvesting or trafficking to make money. They've got a lot of money and a lot of power already to be in possession of this technology. And if they wanted to, surely they could make more money uh, by selling this technology or by doing something else with it. Some, you know, selling some aspect of it or developing it or hell, just using it to take over a country or something. Uh, so, uh, you know, it's, it, the whole thing is murky and it doesn't make any sense, but it does seem to be real and, and going on. So, um, yeah, what to do about it? Well, obviously, we need some competent people with some know-how and some tech uh, to go down there and do something about it. Now, the U.S. military has been doing uh, training uh, in that area. Is that actually training, or are they actually engaged in some sort of war with these beings in the jungles of Peru right now? We just don't know. But Timothy Alberino is going to go down there himself He's going to take a, a camera crew. He's going to take guards. And they are going to see if they can get to the bottom of this. At the very least, try to capture this phenomenon on video. And, uh, yeah, I think he's taking his, his buddy here with him. And uh, they are going to go down to Peru. And they're actually going to make an excursion to the village of San Antonio. And they are going to see what they can see down there. Uh, you know, interviewing the locals, hopefully uh, getting something on camera that they can bring to us, the public. And maybe we, with that evidence, can galvanize lawmakers or decision makers uh, to actually do something about it. Now, you know, like I say, they could already be doing something about it. The control group could be down there doing this stuff. However, the Michael Carrera story and the Lance Corporal Weigand story indicate that the control group might be behind some of this sort of thing. It could be the control group that is down there doing this stuff. Uh, I'm thinking that's more and more likely, honestly. Uh, but it's early days yet, and, you know, we just, we just don't know. We just don't know. So uh, let me know what you think is actually going down there in Peru. And are you excited about Timothy Alberino uh, getting down there and potentially getting to the bottom of this or at least getting some answers or some evidence that he can take uh, and show the world and, and hopefully get uh, you know more public interest uh, and more scrutiny and study and investigation and hopefully relief to those people uh, down there in that San Antonio area. Although, of course, it goes way beyond San Antonio. You know, I've reported on uh, cases of UFOs attacking munitions facilities in Majes, Brazil, and also Argentina. And uh, Brazil has uh, similar uh, encounters going back years uh, to what's going on right now in Peru. Uh, so and it wouldn't surprise me if that was fairly widespread. So whatever this is, is, is it's not a contained event in that one area. And it's not... Uh, contained in time either at least not you know it's not something that's only happening right now it's been going back at least a few years and uh, it could well be the control group um, you know but uh, you know there there's so many ideas in my head that uh, why that doesn't make sense uh, but then again we don't know their agenda we don't know what the hell they're doing uh, so um, you know everything's on the table as far as I can tell. It could be aliens, it could be people, 
I just don't know, guys. I do know one thing. It's not miners and freaking jetpacks. Uh, but let me know what you guys think in the comments below. And if you've enjoyed this video, please give me a big thumbs up. I sure would appreciate it. Smash the subscribe button and the bell to be notified of future videos. You don't want to miss a thing. Join me on social media. There's Facebook and Twitter links below. I would love to see you guys there. If you wanted to support Cosmic Road in an even bigger way, please consider becoming a channel member. Channel members are rock stars, and I really appreciate you guys' support. Thank you so much. Meanwhile, there's plenty of other videos to check out on the channel, and I'll see you guys next time. This is Jack with Cosmic Road, signing out.